all back at the cabin. It's been about a month and a half since I've been out here. Uh, gotta take care of those problem trees today, so that's what we'll be doing. Um, haven't been out here for a while because I've been busy working this summer, so making some dollars, but uh, I've neglected the property for the past little while and it's going back to nature, so time to come out and do some work, get rid of those danger trees and clean up the uh, clean up the yard. It, uh, starting to get pretty shaggy looking with little trees and stuff popping up so anyway stay tuned all right so it's been a while since i've been out to the property <clears throat> probably over a month and a half <clears throat> excuse me i've been busy with work over the summer so kind of neglected the property to this point and as you can see it's kind of overgrown and uh looks like we have a bit of a blow down here the top of that tree came down there the other night after the windstorm so the time is now to take these other poplars down. And that one there is pretty much dead at the top. So just a matter of time before it comes down. I've been talking about doing this for a few months now. So today is the day. So I got one, two, three, four. And there's one over by the cabin there that I want to bring down today. So then we'll clean up this mess. And I have to do some work with my brush saw. So as you can see, it's nature's reclaiming the property. So got all sorts of new little trees popping up here. Take care of all that. Yeah, let's get to work. All right, four trees down. As you can see, they were pretty rotten in the middle. They were destined to come down here eventually. So I decided to take them down in a controlled manner so I know where they're falling. They don't have to worry about it falling in the direction I don't want. As you can see, they're in pretty bad shape. Older, older trees, right? So broke right in the middle and it landed and the top is completely dead we only had this uh, one branch here it looks like it was alive so it probably would have came down to here next little while these stumps I left these stumps high um, my neighbor in the next quarter section over has a, a d6 dozer he said anytime uh, I'm going to get rid of some stumps, you can, no problem, come over and just push them out. He just said to uh, leave them high so he has something to grab onto. So I'll probably take him up on that at some point. But uh, kind of lucky. Kind of lucky because uh, I've been putting this off for a while. And that uh, one top came and come down at that last windstorm, kind of motivated me to come do this so I mean, i'm glad it's done all right quick day out at the cabin here just want to get those trees knocked down i said uh so before they're pretty rotten so starting to get concerned about it so i was talking about before i'll get her done now i'm going to uh save the logs for now i kind of knocked the tops and cleaned up the brush off of those uh trees but i forgot my tape me tape measure I want to uh, come back another day and measure up 10 foot lengths and buck them up and get them ready for the uh, chainsaw mill and try and maybe construct some sort of a structure for, for a firewood shed. So I'll try and utilize as much as I can out of these logs. Looks like they're rotten at the bottom so we'll have to find out where the rot stops and then uh, utilize what the, what I can out of there. Anyway, there should be uh, an all right all right, selection of wood. I got a couple more trees I gotta knock down around here. It's just, those four were the concern at the moment. So we'll come back another day and do some more falling. And, and then uh, we'll buck up, buck up the lengths, the 10 foot lengths and get them ready for milling. Anyway, that's all I have for today. A short episode today. I haven't been out for a while. I still got uh, some things I gotta do. I gotta put that roof on yet. Um, I'm kind of waiting for, for uh, a better day so many bugs out here still as you can probably see from the camera so 
anyway we'll save that for another day it's covered for now it's good we haven't had a lot of rain this year anyway it's been pretty dry we got a good soaking there the other night but i checked out the roof and it's still still all right not swelling up or anything like that so anyway we'll uh call that for for now and we'll talk to you later